A woman is in serious condition at Mission Hospital in Asheville after a two-vehicle wreck Tuesday. Sandra Kenny, 53, of Sapphire, was riding in the back seat of her parents' 2004 Kia sedan on Tuesday. The car was struck by a Mack truck on Asheville Highway after the car turned across two lanes of traffic, attempting to make a right turn on Mountain Road. The Kia was driven by Coleman Kenny, 81, of Sapphire, who died at about 4 p.m. Tuesday at Mission Hospital in Asheville. His wife, Mary Kenny, 74, died at 2.15 Tuesday at Park Ridge Health, according to the North Carolina Highway Patrol. A new Habitat for Humanity community is planned for Henderson County, and the neighborhood will include homes for older residents and the disabled, said Hoyt Bynum, Jr., the local chapter's executive director. Groundbreaking for the community will be in August, with the first homes to be constructed in 2012. Hendersonville officials say Ace Hardware owner Greg Paul is once again violating city zoning ordinances and they have fined him $500 a day since March 7th for not being in compliance. Paul, however, says he has been in compliance ever since opening his store almost three years ago. Paul has stacks of inventory such as mulch on the side of his building and parking spaces. Paul says merchandise that is for sale is not storage and does not have to be screened as stated in the ordinance. Volunteers from the American Red Cross in Henderson County rushed to eastern North Carolina after violent storms ripped across the state last week. Jim Peeler and John Pizzesno traveled in an emergency response vehicle from western North Carolina to Rocky Mount last week with other regional Red Cross members to deliver meals to residents in the storm-ravaged area. A Hendersonville woman has been arrested and charged with embezzling more than $100,000 from a local Elks Lodge over a two-year period when she was an employee. Sheila Elliott, 62, of Hendersonville, was arrested in March and charged with embezzlement for allegedly taking $100,515 from Elks Lodge 1616 on Justice Street in Hendersonville from July 1, 2008 until July 16, 2010. Several Henderson County residents got a behind-the-scenes look at the Carl Sandburg Home National Historic Site this week as part of Experience Your National Park Week. The group of residents was given an overview of the national park system, followed by more comprehensive information about the Carl Sandburg home. They were also treated to a unique look at the archives of Connemara and shown the historic hemlock trees on the property. Get ready to go fly a kite on Saturday, April 23rd. The 14th annual Mighty Kite Flight will be held in Bon Clarken in Flat Rock. Barbara Hughes, owner of Narnia Studios and creator of the Mighty Kite Flight, said the first 25 kids who come accompanied by an adult will receive a free kite and experienced kite flyers will be on hand to assist and give tips. The event takes place on the soccer fields of Bon Clarken on Pine Drive in Flat Rock from 12.30 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. Two people were taken to the hospital Wednesday morning after lightning struck a tree at Brevard College. One student and another person were standing in a campus parking lot near the tree, which sits between the gym and the village's residence hall. Although the individuals were not struck directly by lightning, they were taken to Transylvania Regional Hospital as a precaution. The chance of hey, hey, ho, corporate greed has got to go, nearly three dozen residents staged a peaceful lunch hour protest last week outside of Bank of America. This protest was one of several around the country targeting who these people say are corporate tax dodgers. The protests were held during the National Tax Day rallies. Around 30 people took part in the annual crosswalk in downtown Hendersonville Friday. The crosswalk started at First United Methodist, went down Main Street, past the historic courthouse, and back up Washington Street. For more information on these stories and other news, be sure to check us out on BlueRidgeNow.com, our Facebook page, or follow us on Twitter.